Hello and welcome to TPT Actuel. I would like to, to welcome you to a special program on police crime prevention, the prevention of petty crime, and a European perspective on it. This is the subject of the research project Cutting Crime Impact, in which the TPT participated as a partner. The project was completed at the beginning of this year, and in a fortnight on the 28th of September, we will be showing two online presentations on DBT TV. Therefore, the project will be presented in detail, and I would like to give you a few highlights today. A total of 12 partners from seven countries were involved in the CCI project, law, six law enforcement agencies, three research institutions, two network partners, one design agency. And the two central goals were, first of all, development of a so-called tool that supports the participating law enforcement agencies in police crime prevention. And secondly, the expansion of our European security model that also takes into account petty crime and the citizens' perception of security. In view of the short time available, we are unfortunately unable to go into the European security model in more detail in this program. I would like to, to refer you to a preliminary that we have already made on the subject. The CCI project dealt with the four main topics of the police crime prevention. Two tools were developed for each topic, making a total of eight tools. And the special thing about the project is that it was not research that developed for practice, but practice itself. That is, the law enforcement agencies that use the tools in the end, that played a very significant role in the development. This has the positive advantage that the law enforcement agencies themselves know best what exactly they need and why and in what form it can ultimately be used in the agency. <coughs> Predictive policing is often translated as uh, anticipatory policy. This was of paramount importance. It is about using data to um, identify an increased likelihood of criminal activity for example, in a very specific geographical area, for example, in a city district, and adapting police strategies accordingly, for example, increasing patrols in the area. The second topic, community policing, a very communal, very citizen-oriented and citizen-oriented police work. The main aim is to increase trust in the police, to establish a direct dialogue between citizens and the police, and to solve problems in the communities together at eye level. <coughs> Third main topic, crime prevention through urban design and planning. This is always or often translated as urban crime prevention, but for me, it's, it means more than that. For example, not only structural aspects, but also the overall design of safe public spaces. For example, designing a subway um, in such a way that crime opportunities are reduced and the feeling of safety is increased. And the last fourth specific topic is recording and reducing the feeling of insecurity. Research shows that perceived subjective safety does not always correspond to objective safety. Therefore, it is even more important to have good tools and methods to understand the citizens' sense of security. Furthermore, what is also special about the project is how open-ended and needs-oriented it was designed to be. If you are also wondering, a tool? What should a tool be exactly? This term was chosen derivatively because at the beginning of the project it was not predefined what exactly would be developed. A tool can be anything, a handout, an explanatory film, a physical tool, a digital tool, an app, etc. And at the beginning of the project, therefore, needs assessments were made 
with the participating law enforcement agencies and for example greater manchester police were asked where do you actually stand in terms of community policing what is going well what is not where is the problem what exactly are you lacking so quite a lot of time was spent on identifying the actual problem in the first place and i can tell you it wasn't always what you thought the problem was at the beginning conversely this also means that the wheel was not always reinvented instead the project identified with with small cogs were not uh, working or were missing so that the whole structure could start working again and this therefore worked so well because the project worked with the design thinking method this means that after this extensive but very important needs analysis we started to develop a very broad low solution in so-called design labs so we generated several ideas for a tool and then concretized them and developed the prototypes of the tools which were then tested mirrored to the end users uh, and uh, finally adapted. Each tool is tailor-made uh, for the respective law enforcement agency and therefore has its own design, logo and website where you can find more details about the tools. And here we would like to give you an insight into the consortium and what the partners have taken away from the project. And so for us, this is very, very helpful uh, in order to take these outputs from the CCI project, the tools, uh, and bring them on to our cities, uh, try to transfer that knowledge. When it comes to this policing approach, the problems and the issues that the stakeholders experience are not necessarily in line with the big priorities and the agenda of the police force our police force uh, because there's a mismatch be be between what uh, people and communities perceive and the experience and and what uh, and, and the priorities of a police force and here i've really seen uh, human-centered design being applied in a real world context that was a fascinating eye-opening for me to have a look behind the scenes and see how all the six law enforcement agencies were approaching innovation taking into account not just lead users, but also society, communities, and groups, uh, and therefore having a, having a, working on solutions that are multidisciplinary and hopefully sustainable for the future. The most uh, interesting part is uh, working together with, with such a variety, variety of uh, different stakeholders uh, and, and police uh, uh, forces. It's, it's interesting because they are very different in, in those different countries and we could lo learn from each other. At the end of the research project, the question always arises, how we can ensure what we have not done? Uh, how do we get the tools we have developed into practice? So Karen Davia and Andrew Wooten also talk about this and about lessons learned in the above mentioned preface and recording of which I would like to refer to you again. You can also talk about this with the project partners themselves. And here on the DPT TV, they will be presenting a CCI in detail during the online lectures so on the 28th of September. The lecture and the practical impulses will be held in English. However, as always, there will be a simultaneous translation in German. For more information on CCI and the tools, please visit the project website. But today I wish you interesting content and discussions for the following presentations as well. Bye bye and see you next week. Bye.